The GT Sports specification conjures a hot hatch from the previous century. OK, maybe not a 1.5-litre engine, but 113 bhp, distantly peaking torque, a twist beam axle, an A062 m, pH time of 8.7 sec certainly feel that way. Modernity emerges from the middle of the dashboard, where you'll find a 7.0 inches infotainment touchscreen and, more surprisingly, from the top of the instrument binnacle, where you'll spot the head-up display's projection screen. Supportively walled seats and a leather-bound steering wheel hint at the potential driving pleasure, as does a gear lever that snicks home with unusual precision. Within meters you'll be feeling quite a firm ride, too. The 2S motor ISNT running over with power, but if you get assertive with it you'll find more urge than you might expect for 113 bhp, especially as the 4000 revolutions per minute torque peak hoves into view. It's not madly rapid, the GT Sport, but it's certainly brisk enough to entertain. Your ears will pay a light price though, with the four-cylinder units in eight vibrations straining to break through the new noise barriers. It's acceptable, but a passenger might tell you that they've had enough after a while. Happily, the 2S firm ride ISNT so firm that it underlines that thought. It's almost choppy, but well controlled and good over longer undulations, besides encouraging you to make use of the extra zest. So does plenty of grip and reasonably judged steering weight, but there's still too little feel, despite the recent tweaks. This ISNT a car that's eager to bite into bends, nor one that'll goad you into hard charging them, either. There's entertainment here, but it's certainly not full strength. There is another benefit in the extra power though. The GT Sport's cruising abilities are well able to deal with distance, especially with the calming influence of a sixth gear and the comfortable seats and a decent equipment quotient make it a good all-rounder. It would look more special to sit in if the dark brown leather WASNT's the darkest to turn black on a gloomy day.